Eldariat, the Scatterers. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. I call to witness those beings who went forth to scatter the Quranic teachings far and wide with a true scattering. They carry their blessed load of truth. Then speed along, exposing the wrong belief and evil practices with love and peace. And then distribute and apportion the work by our command. Verily, the promise you are made about the spread of Islam is true. And the requital must indeed come to pass. And I call to witness the sky with its numerous orbits of celestial bodies. That contradictory are the things you say, for you're not believing in God's word and in his prophet. Through which are deluded away from the truth, such as would be deluded to falsehood. Woe to the falsehood mongers, who are in the depths of obstinacy and confusion due to false beliefs, and give no heed to the truth. They ask, when will the day of requital be? Say, it shall be a day when they will be tormented at the fire. It will be said to them, taste your torment. This is what you used to ask to be hastened. But surely those who have become secure against evil will indeed be in the land of gardens and springs, receiving the gifts that their Lord will give them, for they used to do excellent deeds before that. They were in the habit of sleeping but a little by night, for their being occupied in God's worship. Also in the hours of the early dawn, as well they were found praying for his protection. And in their wealth and belongings was a rightful share for those who asked for help and for those who could not. There are signs on the earth for the people of knowledge and assured faith. And you have signs in your own persons. Have you no eyes to perceive? Your sustenance is in the heavens. Besides, you shall have all that you are promised triumph and prosperity to the believers and warnings to disbelievers. By the Lord of the heavens and the earth, that which you are promised is true. It is as true as the fact that you can speak to one another. Have you heard the news of the honored guest of Abraham? Behold, they came to him and greeted him with peace. He said in reply, On you be peace. He thought they were all strangers, and he went quietly but quickly to his household and brought a fatted calf after getting it roasted for the guest. And he placed it before them. Seeing their hesitation, he said, Will you not eat? When they did not eat, he felt afraid of them. They said, Have no fear. And they proclaimed to him the good news of the birth of a son who would be blessed with knowledge. Then his wife came to him extremely embarrassed. She smote her forehead and said, I am but an old woman then barren. How can I ever be able to give birth to a child? They said, Even so has your Lord said, Surely he is the all-wise, the all-knowing. Abraham said to them, now what is your errand, O oh, you who have been sent by God? They said, We have been sent towards a guilty people who have severed their ties with God, that we may rain stones of wet clay upon them, which are earmarked from your Lord for inflicting punishment on those guilty of excesses. God says, Then it came to pass, we brought forth all the believers who were there in that township to keep them safe and secure. But in fact, we found there only a single house of those who had submitted to us, and that was the house of Lot. And after destroying the townships, we left in them a sign to serve as a lesson to those who fear the woeful punishment. And in the case of Moses, there is also a sign. Remember the time when we sent him to Pharaoh with a clear authoritative proof. But he turned away from Moses 
in the pride of his power and said, He is a sorcerer, or rather a madman. So we took him and his forces to task, and threw them into the sea. Indeed, he, Pharaoh, was himself blameworthy. And there is a sign in the destruction of the tribe of Ad, when we let loose on them the destructive wild-blowing wind. It spared nothing whatever it came upon, but reduced it to dust like stuff of rotten bones. And there is a sign in the case of the tribe of Thamud. Behold, they were told, Enjoy yourselves for a while. But they disdainfully disobeyed the commandment of their Lord, so a thunderbolt struck them while they looked on utterly confused. And they were not able even to get up on their feet, nor could they get anybody's help to defend themselves. And we destroyed the people of Noah before them. They too were disobedient people. As for the heaven, we have built it with our mighty power, and verily we are makers of the vast extent. And the earth, we have spread it out, and how excellently we lay things out. And we have created all things in pairs, so that you may give heed to the wonderful creation of God. Therefore say to them, Wing your way to Allah. Verily, I am a plain warner to you from him. Never set up another god to be worshipped along with Allah. Surely, I am a plain warner to you from him. Even so, no messenger came to their predecessors, but they said, He is a sorcerer, or rather a madman. Have they bequeathed this way of saying things to one another? The fact is, they themselves are a people who transgress limits. So turn away from them and their foul way of talk. There lies no blame on you for what they do. Yet keep on exhorting the people, for verily exhortation proves useful to the believers. And I have created the jinn, fiery-natured and haughty, and the ordinary people, only that they may worship me. Prophet, tell them that no provision do I require from them, nor do I require that they should feed me. Surely it is Allah alone who is the great sustainer, the Lord of immense power, the Almighty. Those who do injustice to our messengers should meet the fate of miseries like the fate of their fellows of old. Therefore do not let them ask me to hasten on the punishment which awaits them. Yet they should not forget that destruction is in store for those who disbelieve, on account of that day of theirs, the punishment of which they have been promised.